I have lots of friends who are expatriates. This little comic piece is not about them. It's more about what I would be like if I were an expatriate. The expatriate. Leaping onto the jet, the expatriate came to France, where the sneering American literary magazines would not extend the poisonous tentacles of their rejection notices. Unless, of course, he sent them something. At two, the expatriate stepped out of his pension into the snooty French agora, carrying an envelope. The doorwoman raised an eyebrow. She would. After an annoyingly breezy walk through the village, he came to the post office. Two old men on bikes stopped to stare. One muttered, What the devil? The other said, it's the expatriate. That explains all. The expatriate glared. Objectificators, he muttered, entering the post office. A long line awaited him. Mama, look, the expatriate. The mother applied hands to the child's eyes. Other patrons edged away from the expatriate, who glared at one and all. Finally, he reached the counter. I wish, please, to purchase, how do you say, mailage, postage, whatever, and then to mail the envelope. Amazement showed on the postwoman's face. What's that? You wish to mail your underwear? No, attention, the envelope. I cannot be expected to understand such language. The envelope, the envelope, the envelope. While waving the envelope, and jumping up and down, the expatriate noticed that he was nude. The cabal, the poison, sacred Asia, they're here, he said, assuming he was still speaking French. He used the envelope to cover his etats unis as he crab walked toward the door where a policeman waited to assist him. Oh, you Indiana Reviews, you Atlantics, you, you haven't published geniuses like me in 20 years. Did you like your trip to France? Rejecting me must be the most delightful of drugs to you, you Paris Reviews. At his pension, where he surprised the door woman with his attire, a blanket loaned by the police, he discovered that mail had arrived marked with the names of prestigious U.S. literary journals. It was not really mail. It was snakes, spiders, madness. The expatriate's next destination would be Japan. He had secretly begun practicing tea ceremonies. Perhaps while he hid in Osaka, a missile would arrive from North Korea. He would welcome it, so long as it did not pop open above the city spilling letters from prestigious U.S. literary journals, rejoicing at the opportunity of having read his moving and excellent poem, but explaining that it was not a good fit for issue 37, 38, or 39. A moment later, the doorwoman was astonished to see a human jackrabbit with a suitcase exiting the front door and heading for the airport. <laughs>